Hi guys, it's Minik from EarlyLearningMom.com. I just finished a really good book last week and I've been meaning to come on here and do a quick review. This is the book here. It says Love in a Time of Homeschooling and it's by Laura Brody. And I just, I don't know why I grabbed it. It's a library book. And I was looking through the homeschooling um, section at the library um, and it just caught my eye so I grabbed it and I didn't think I'd actually sometimes I grab books from the library and I don't actually read them and I return them but this one I just thought well I'll give it you know I usually give them a few pages I was hooked like it is about a woman who has three children and she's um, got a older daughter who's kind of a free spirit and has some t like you know trouble like adjusting to new environments like she is um, she did very well in the Montessori class um, the younger class with lots of time exploring she learns from her environment she's not um, you know doesn't learn the same way as other kids and um, she found she decided to kind of give in grade five um, to give her daughter like what she called a sabbatical uh, year where her and her daughter homeschooled and her other two girls went to school and it was about her journey and it was just amazing it really gave me a new perspective on how to look at kids and learning I'm a very big like I learned by workbooks by you know just typical activities like you know mainstream learning and um, she talked about how her daughter that's not how she learned and she learned a lot by reading and um, topics that she enjoyed and she was a very hands-on learner and um, really loved to learn in her environment so Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye. We are outside right now. Um, today is a slow day for daycare for me. I have two little ones and they are playing in the sandbox and just enjoying the beautiful uh, Manitoba weather. So, and it's been really rainy lately. So we've been really just, um, when we get the opportunity to go outside when it's not too hot and muggy or raining, we jump on it. Sweetie! We keep the sand in the sandbox, okay? Thank you. Sorry. Uh, raw life, right? So anyhow, I would really recommend this book for um, people that have children that, um, you know, learn differently, that are very in tune with nature, um, you know, look at the world differently. It kind of gives you a perspective into their world and, um, to see how this mother took her one year of homeschooling. So, Eddie, go put it back in the sandbox, please. Thank you. Sorry, once again. Um, so yeah, no, I would, I would totally recommend it. It, um, it took me a while. I, I couldn't put it down, but I'm super busy. So, um, it killed me when I couldn't just read through it one night um but yeah it's um and they go back too and they talk about um like you know she now that her daughter's older she kind of asks her about what she thought about that year and she has a different um you know perspective like they did butt heads they're very um the two of them butt heads quite a bit and um, she talks about that in the book that you know when she was researching homeschooling nobody talked about that nobody talked about you know you and your child butting heads not agreeing on things and um, you know typically your child's at school all day and you get them home during the summer on the weekends and in the evenings this she was with her daughter all the time she also talked about the struggles of her other daughters feeling jealous and uh, not getting the same attention she talked about um, how now later on her daughter's perspective she doesn't um, quite she thought it was going to be more traumatic on her daughter they're arguing and there was only one situation that really hurt 
her daughter that she had said and she went on to talk about it. it was something that she didn't think like she thought there was way worse arguments that they had had and it was just this one thing that had really hurt her daughter's um kind of like not i don't want to say hurt her feelings i'm sure it did but like kind of hit her soul and um so it's definitely worth picking up. I found it at the local library. I'm sure you could find it on Amazon. Um, but it's definitely um, worth the read. It, it just gives, it gave me a new perspective on how to, um, that, you know, everybody talks about, oh, you don't need to learn with workbooks. You can learn hands-on. And it was really hard for me to wrap my mind around. But after reading the story, I can see how you can learn um, differently in different ways. So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to know more about the book, like I said, go pick it up. It's a love, love in a time of homeschooling by Laura Brody. And, um, yeah, I recommend it. So be sure to check out my blog, www.earlylearningmom.com. I'm also going to write a quick little review on there as well, so you can check that out. And um, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.